Oh shit! No! Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. I'm in the forest right now. I'm trying to hunt a few boars. So yes. I did a bit of combat training with Bernard, but other than that, I pretty much as I left it last week. Anyway, so I'm in the woods south of Edechko. Right about say actually yeah, just slightly south of Edechko. Around here. Probably around here. So there's only one spot that has five piggies. Okay, one more. Excellent, oh my god. That should take care of uh That's enough for Beggar's Feast. While I was offline, I actually did a bit of training with Bernard. A defense and a warfare is closer to 10 than it was before. I think it was closer to like 5 or so. So we are a little bit better at weapons. Uh, my mace is still a bit lower. It's about 3, but axes and swords are at 7 or 8. So yes, uh, I'm actually alright at weapons. So I should be able to do the tournament also. That's basically what it means. So as far as quests are concerned, it doesn't really matter what the meat condition is. So ironically, they'll... Yeah. I'm not sure if it I'm not sure if they're rejected if it's rotten. But yeah, I've actually given handed in some, some meat that's gone off pretty badly. And yes, they're still acceptable for as far as quests are concerned. It's a bit of a shame that um, cooked meat isn't necessarily accepted. Look at that. I went to the trouble of cooking it and they won't take it. LOL. <laughs> oh I need to go on a date. Um, but let me yeah, yeah, let me get dressed up and then we'll have a bath and then we'll come and see the razor. What's the time by the way? Ah, oh, too late. Too late. Time has flown. Yeah. Refugees do need the, the food, so that's priority. It takes priority over frivolous acts like going on a date with Teresa. Uh, not that Henry is an emperor. What about this? So yes, they've, they've already started working. Um, I did try to speak to a few of them, but um, I need to. I think you need to wait a few days before they'll. And look at that. There is a bit of a bug where uh, if you store stuff in your horse, it may not lose condition. So that should be in 95 or something, but yeah. Doesn't always activate. I've got that meat for you here. Great. Let's have a look at it. Thanks, Henry. We'll get lots of supplies for this. Another order. The master armorer is mounting a banquet, and he wants to serve venison and cream sauce. Oh, right, I get it. Hunt down a deer, milk a cow, and skim the cream. Wouldn't he like me to churn some butter to cook it in while I'm at it? <laughs> Just the venison will do, thanks. Bye. Yes, yes. Henry's getting a bit snippy. Oh, I hate to road deer. Um, so there's a number of locations. There's a location south of Rate. The problem is that the road deer are a little bit too skittish. And there's a forest right behind. So they end up going to the forest. So yeah. Just don't bother anymore. Mm, the area with the abandoned camp is south of Ledetico is probably the better way. So it's basically taking us back to the same area that we're at. Now go around here. Now road deer are really difficult to hunt. I think the best way to hunt road deer is just to use a um, just to use a horse. So we want the ruins. Just in front of the ruins, there's a big spawning ground. Oh look at that! It's a cross. Um, oh there's there's a deer. But I don't remember that cross. Uh, oh well, I better not poach in front of this guy. <laughs> better not poach in front of this guy. Okay, that one seems to be stuck on the bushes. Perfect. Oh really? Right below the body. Did it go down? It did. Whoo. That was extremely fortunate there. What? Are you or your Okay, so yeah, once you kill one there you the other day kind of hang around. It just makes you kind of sad to be honest. Is that enough? Oh 40, okay, perfect. By the way, should be able to take care of that. So we gave him rabbits, we gave him red deer, and then we gave him boar, and now we're giving, giving him roe deer. That should be it, right? Yeah. Oh, I think the last one involves pretty much one of each kind. Ah, oh, shh. So I probably shouldn't sell off the rest of the meat, right? Yeah, let me just keep that. I may find myself just a little bit shy of uh, the roe meat requirements. Yeah. Even Henry agrees with me. Yeah. Used to be a lot more aggressive. Henry used yeah. to be a lot more aggressive on the horse, but now he just goes, yeah. <laughs> Maybe people just didn't like it. I thought the initial version was better. Uh, so we can go on a date with Teresa tomorrow. So what I want to do is I want to go to Neuhof. 
and then we'll pick up the quest. Report into Tamburg, and then they'll set up the then they'll set up the, the race itself, which will take place the next day at around noon, I think. <laughs> so that gives us the morning to come in and have a date with Teresa, and then we'll make it back. But the problem is you have to absolutely be there by noon. Um, I don't want to pick up the heretics quest. Alright, so that's it. Looks like this lot also preserved well. I've got that meat for you here. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so enthusiastic. Thanks, Henry. We'll get lots of supplies for this. I've got another order for you. The butcher was boasting in the tavern how he makes the best boar meat and the wild mushroom sauce, and the locals want him to prove it. Oh so no, no boar meat, meat again. Yes. And while you're in the woods, you could pick a few mushrooms too. <laughs> Next thing, I want me to cook it too. I mean, Henry is pretty good it's at cooking. Me. Okay, this is bad. Boar meat twice. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Look at that lipiotus. Ah, uh, that was my mistake. Uh, I shouldn't have sold off that meat. I mean, it's good profit, but I could definitely use the money in order to purchase some clothing. Uh, speaking of which, let's see if we can't find some good clothing over here. Because um, my chest feels positively empty, so we could buy something there, and we could buy some body plate, maybe some leather clothing. Uh, I've got defense 10 now, so I can actually wear... I should be able to wear... So yeah, defense 10, warfare 8, which makes a huge difference. So I should be able to wear um, chainmail, I think. No, no. Yeah, chainmail. 15 is plate, but 10 is chainmail and stuff like that. Yeah, the Korhadi. Um, it's all right, but I think I prefer the Kaftan. It does cost a, bit, a fair bit more, and I do prefer the look of it. There's a really cheap jacket that you can find. This one, red out of jacket, okay. Perfect. Now chest won't be as empty. Look at that. That makes a, just the captain itself makes a huge difference. And the red jacket. Look at that. We're a little bit better. We're no longer a peasant. Uh, could use yeah. Could use something here. Body plate. Something stealthy would be nice. So go back to the forest and find some screw you, Kunesh. But yes, go back to the forest and find some another boar. Ah, uh, so annoying. Do I have enough arrows? There is something weird about the game here. So. If you unequip it, it's one set, but when you equip it, it becomes two different sets. It's not a question of condition. This one's where other arrows are picked up off, uh, off the animals. 73, what the hell happened to me? What the hell happened to me? Oh, it was Bernard. Yeah, Bernard beat the crap out of me. Uh, let's see, Vincent. Are you willing to speak now? God be with Aha, uh -huh, now we can speak to them. Are you happy with your job? I just do what I'm told. But you're getting paid enough for it, right? I make a few groschen, but mother takes it all, because she has to take care of everything. See you later. Mm, that's a bit sad, to be honest. He's gonna struggle later on in life, I guess. Lady, what the hell? Agnes, put your clothes on. So, how do you like it here at Hagen's? Well, it's all right. Hagen is a decent enough, God-fearing man. If he didn't think only about lining his purse all the time, but I'll exercise that mammon out of him. Saint Agnes help me. Take care. <laughs> now the problem is that when you speak to Hagen, he has an entirely different opinion. He's basically saying that hopefully she'll stop at some point. But no, it doesn't look like it. So yes, they're gonna be a perfect match for each other going forward. Um, we should be able to also speak to Teresa about this. But yes, there is also. I'm glad to see. So generally, everybody should be happy. How are you holding up? Well, I tried the water carrying, but I have to tell you, it's not the best job I've ever had. What's the problem? Is it that hard? The main thing is it's a long way to haul a heavy load. And you can't even take a rest now and again. You can be seen the whole way. See? Yeah, so he's okay. Oh, there's, a... okay there's the first one. But yeah, they, they can spot you from a mile away. It's unbelievable. Although, having said that, it is kind of realistic for me, let's be honest. Oh, okay. I thought I'd run out of arrows there. I thought I'd run out of arrows. Why has it not detected me? That is unbelievable. So sometimes they are completely blind, and sometimes they are... They, compl they basically have radar. 
Okay. Perfect. At this time, I will try to retain the meat. Can't care anymore. Why? I mean, I'm kind of surprised there. I mean, meat does weigh a lot, a ton, but still, still. Boris, you're weakling. I'm gonna have to swap you out for something that's a little yeah. bit better. Or uh, give him some saddlebags, right? <laughs> My horse could definitely use some saddlebags, that little bastard. Yeah. But yes, getting a better horse is useful. So one of the things I think about is, is it realistic for the meat to rot away that quickly? <laughs> two days, right? It takes roughly around two days for the meat to rot away. And I think that's probably realistic. Before refrigeration, that probably would have been a thing. Cooked meat should preserve better though, but yeah, and which it does. Yeah. So I wonder. Or is it just because the days go past too quickly in this game? So it's a combination of both. So the time to rot is actually realistic, but the time just passes by too quickly. That's Town's Woman. That's Ag uh, that's Antonia actually. I recognize that dress. Mother of God, you look like you've been assaulted. <laughs> look at that. Even the beggars are complaining about our clothing. How's your husband doing? Any better? He's still the same. There's no sign of improvement, no matter how I break my back to pay for treatment. Uh, this one... I think it's a bit buggy, this one, but let's try. I know a thing or two about healing. Maybe I should have a look at him and see what can be done. I'd appreciate any help. But as I said, I can't offer anything in return. Ah, uh, see, that's a problem. Um, ah, shit, I don't have the buck's blood. Oh... Uh, Sorry. That's a bit buggy. There's nothing more I can do for you. You've done enough already. That may basically be the end of the conversation. Okay, so we can still give her a potion, but I don't think I have Buck's blood. That's a problem. We can give her the B-Boy's rage, but <laughs> I suspect that that has a negative effect. You don't exactly want your water carrier to be berserk. Oh, tournament. Okay, so I guess we're not doing the horse race. Okay, so let me do a tournament tomorrow. We'll go on a date and then we'll go on the tournament. That's why I train with Bernard. Uh, do I have antidotes? Okay, this better be the last meat, Alex. Oh, mushrooms. Bloody hell. There should be some mushrooms up here as well, so let me go and try. Please don't inspect me, guards. I have no contraband. I have no bands of any kind. I can't play the guitar. Lol. And here we are, mushrooms. You should be concerned when the sheep are afraid of you. That is a sheep shagger joke. Thanks, Henry. We'll get lots of supplies for this. I think we'd better quit while we're ahead. The Master Huntsman has got wind that something's up and the burghers are getting nervous. But you helped us a lot, Henry. Thank you. You're welcome. Come and see me if you ever need anything else. I will. I'll be with you. Beggar's Feast is done. Okay, so let me... Ah, uh, there is a uh, Capon. Ptacek. Wow, look at that. Roasted Innkeeper! Would you like to buy some roasted innkeeper meat? I'm glad to see you. Yes, his, his rump is particularly well done. Okay, let's speak Got to Ptacek. Now that's more like it. We should have an indicator to speak to Ptacek here. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Sir Hans, I heard something about a tourney in Ratoy. Yes, Hanush has decided to revive the tourney at the Upper Castle. It's only a bit of entertainment for commoners. A few fellows on foot bashing each other with various weapons. Oh, you don't seem like your usual cheerful self, sir. Anything wrong? Yes, blast it. Hanush was on my back about what I'd do all day, so I told him I was busy dealing with very important nightly matters. I said I was training my future page in combat, initiating him into the art of swordsmanship and other battle skills. I didn't know you had a page. Well, that's just the thing. I don't. It was just something I made up on the spot to get him off my back. Only it seems I was a bit too convincing. Now, Uncle wants my imaginary page to demonstrate what he's learnt in the tourney. Mm. I can see how that could be a bit awkward. <sighs> That's putting it mildly. The old man is like a dog with a bone. He'll never let go. Unless... Yes, now I think of it. I'll tell Hanush I was training you. All you have to do is enter the tourney, 
batter the fuck out of all the other peasants, and everyone will be happy. Except for the losers, of course. What, and I'm to become your page? I'm not sure if Sir Radzik would agree. No, no, Radzik doesn't have to know anything about it. It's just a little charade for Uncle's benefit. Not that it's such a bad idea. Who knows, maybe one day. Yeah, all right. I just hope it won't get me into trouble. Everything will be just fine. You'll see. Well, I suppose I can handle a few fellows one at a time. Oh, all right, then. Of course you can. That's the spirit. You have to put up some coin to enter, though. Naturally, I'll pay for that, so you don't go around calling me a pinch purse. Go and see the tournament master. You'll find him somewhere around the upper castle courtyard. He'll explain everything and sign you up. Run along now. And don't let me down, Henry. Remember, you have to demonstrate you've been trained by a master. Your wish is my command. Excellent. Afterwards, we'll drink to your glorious deeds. God be with you. So, <laughs> how are you doing? Oh, it's dreadful. This is no job for a man like me. But you asked for it. I needed a job, true. But I'm too good for this kind of labour. And the bailiff still hasn't a good word to say to me. Yeah, so he didn't actually want the job. He just wanted to look good to the bailiff. He wanted to suck up to him. And it's um, I need some buck's blood to give to Antonia. Yeah, she needs that. And also, let me check out her husband. Yeah, that's the husband there. I tried to speak to him previously. Aha, examine the husband. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, the long sickness, malnutrition, and his wounds have weakened him. He needs a potion to get his blood flowing and give him strength. Now the problem... How are you feeling? Uh, uh, there's a zombie right there. There's a zombie. Antonia. Run. That's either fever or bad dreams talking. It's the zombies. Anyway, so we can't give him a Lazarus potion. The problem is that it doesn't heal him. Wait a moment. I have something for you. I've got plenty of Lazaruses. But that's Bye it. Then. Nothing happens. <laughs> and he just talked to us. But yeah, that's it. So I'm this glad part. To see you. Oh, look at that. Maybe he's recovered. Goodbye. But yeah, um, he doesn't actually fully recover. Even though the Lazarus potion should basically. Should basically bring him back from the dead. It's called the Lazarus potion, right? Uh, where is Antonia? Yeah, so I can't I can't tell her about this. So the only thing we can do here is give her a buck's blood, which is annoying. Okay, that is Cornelius. We've spoken to him. So we need also we also need to speak to Hagen and see what his reaction is to getting a cook. That's uh, Vincent. And we should be able to speak to Teresa as well, by the way. She has her own her own reactions. So I appreciate the fact that um, characters actually go about doing their job. So whoever you're assigned to the carrying job, they actually do the work. It's a shame that there isn't one closer to the mill, but... And also it's a shame that you can't actually look at the recipes without coming all the way here. And you can't hold a torch. <laughs> so it looks like I have a lot of problems with this. I might not have an antidote. I don't think I have Buck's blood either. Shouldn't you tidy yourself up a bit? Oh, okay. How did things work out with the job I arranged? They both got jobs thanks to you. I'm beholden to you. If you ever need anything, just say the word. Anything, eh? Uh, anything. Oh, I got a... Okay. So we can also give her a bouquet. Um, Let's go for a walk first before I give her a bouquet. That's a bouquet that we got from Arson Balls. Since we're here, let me get the recipes. Actually, this might turn out to be okay. Right, uh, we want to be a bit sneaky, right? There you go. That's pretty, that's pretty stealthy. Hopefully, this won't wake up anybody. Oh, shit. Don't destroy your picks. Um, so it's one of these guys. So I'm gonna have to drink something. And that right there should be all the recipes in the game. Alright. Um, okay, so I can probably borrow a few of these recipes if I need to. Wait, I didn't I didn't know Aquabitalus. That doesn't make any sense. So I need to make some antidote. Uh, nettle, thistle, and charcoal. Perfect antidote. I need one. Okay, now for Antonio's Antonio's problem. Wait, what? I didn't get Buck's blood? Oh, I didn't get Buck's blood. Where is it then? Okay, I might have to buy that. 
Okay, then we'll go for a date. Now, what's your charisma? Eight. Eight. <laughs> okay, do I have anything stolen? Um, oh shit. Let me go by the back door, just in case somebody decides to inspect me. I don't need a thief reputation. Oh, hello. Uh, run! <laughs> run! <laughs> Okay, she may not be up until, say, a couple of hours from now. It's kind of weird, because peasants get up at, like, 9am. And you can't wake them up, unfortunately. Some people have said that you can shoot an arrow near them. But all it does is... I've tried it in the past, and all it does is get them mad. <laughs> I don't need Teresa mad at me. I don't need her calling the guards on me. Oh, yes, uh, we can also bet on the tournament. And do I have enough money? Anyway... Before you do the first tournament, it's kind of important to have some antidote for reasons that you may come to learn later on. But Lazarus should be fine. If you can uh, basically just give yourself a Lazarus, it should counteract any poison that you come across. Preserved! Oh my god. The meat is preserving. Hey, lad! Hey, lad! <laughs> Don't you want a little wager on the rat aid tourney? Yes, I do. In fact... Good day! Yes, I'm interested that is in betting on the tourney. Oh, only 100? Okay, I think we get back like a 400 if we win. Oh, I need to have a bath. Okay, so let's have a bath. Uh, what's the time? We'll have a bath, then I'll come back and we'll have a date with Teresa. And then we'll go batter some fools. A date with Teresa demands us to be clean. Oh, let's haggle. 10 groschen is too much. And how much are you willing to pay? You're a right pinch purse. Alright, so she wants nine and a half. Got it. So all that just to save a measly half groschen. No, that's terrible. I am a right pinch purse. It is true. But we're now officially clean. So, Teresa, She's still sleeping. I know you're in your underwear and everything like that, but would you like to go for a walk? Should we take a walk? You don't give up, do you? Well, let me think. And where would you care to go? Ah, uh, Gallows Hill, yeah. Sexy times on Gallows Hill. Or the tavern, no, no. What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Let's go. Now, hopefully this won't take too long. How tall is she meant to be and how tall is Henry meant to be? She seems awfully small now. No. That was a good idea to go for a walk. Not that I don't like the mill, but you get tired of it. So I'm glad you took me out. I'd love to see the markets in Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? No, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, so many people in one place. So many assholes. <laughs> That's disgusting. Ah, oh, yes. Perfect talk for a date. <laughs> I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too, so don't give me any of that. <laughs> you scoundrel. Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't make me a bad Christian. Oh, not at all. I never dare to suggest such a thing. Tell you what. Let's not dawdle. Does this crazy self run? Last one is this what the? What the? You're too slow. I'm, I'm running sideways, lady. I'm running sideways, and I'm better than faster than you are. You ain't winning. I'm telling ya, nobody beats uh, peasant Henry. Nobody beats peasant Henry. Maybe we should stick the dog on her. <laughs> Look at that. The dog's holding her back. I love it. Mutt's finally doing something for me. Instead of always working against me. You're too slow, lady. I'm running backwards. I'm running backwards. You're not getting past me. <laughs> Is it here? It's here. <laughs> that was fun. So yes, the benefits of actually here next to me, Hal. being a traveling merchant. We have good vitality. We have even better vitality now. And what about you? I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well, and I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. 
What's it like serving nobility? Oh, lack of oh, it's endless luxury, money, banquets, games stuffed with other games. <laughs> a chicken stuffed with stuffed with a frog. Yeah, and that's nothing compared to a frog stuffed with a chicken. <laughs> a goat stuffed <laughs> with a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Now then. Oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. Um, we have low charisma, so yeah. <laughs> the only one here whose head is all messed up is me. How do you always manage to look so good? Just look at the lady killer. Where did you <laughs> learn to talk that way? Mm. I don't recall which church service it was exactly. It was the one in Ujits. It was the church you service in Ujits. You to make a girl feel special. You may continue. But now I have to go. Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. Uh, yes. Thank you for coming with me. Please come and see me again. Ooh. She likes us, eh? Eh? You think she likes us what? <laughs> Alright, what's the time? Okay, still plenty of time, so it takes about an hour. Plenty of time to go to a toilet. Oh, that's a toilet, by the way. Big hole, you just sit down and just bloop. I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Longsword. Because it's a knightly duel and everything like that. I reckon it's what I'm best at. Good. Get yourself ready. You're next in line. And there's actually more uh, combinations with. Uh, with long swords on a one-to-one -one battle, the long sword is actually the best. It would probably take one duel for the for that list to disappear. God damn! Okay, he's given up. So those are the two combinations that I've got. The overhead one and the and the stabby to the chest. Uh, ah, short swords. Um, I think I have one combination. Yes, I do. He's dead. He's done for. Yeah. The thing is, he didn't have any faceplate armor, so that stab to the face was deadly. Hanush is meant to give us a prize. Oh shit. Hanush is meant to give us a prize, but... Okay. Why is the game slowing down? The game is slowing down for some reason. Yeah, look at that. The game is slowing down, I don't understand. Come on, game. It's gonna mess with my timings. Yes, what the hell is going on? Why is... Don't get it. Um, the game does adjust your, your character's animations to the skill difference.
but I'm slowing down too much for my liking. Okay, that was bad. Never attack the enemy when wherever he is. Oh, I've got a third combination. Excuse me. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, and the sound is desyncing. The sound is desyncing for some reason as well. Um, I don't understand. Oh, that was itch. Okay. Yeah, so the swings are a lot slower. Yeah, that's good. Mace, okay, I could use some training with the mace. I don't have a combination with this, so it's gonna be just a bit of a Okay, stop doing that. Stop doing that, you punk. Bonk, bonk. Uh, okay, I thought it was. Thought it might have been out of stamina, but not yet. No, not quite. But that one did. <laughs> Don't speak too soon. Oh, I lost lock there for a second. Oh, that's it, that hurts. Oh, bleeding. This is where combinations are really useful. You get someone with a shield, you kind of have to use combinations. Otherwise, this happens. Ah, oh, bleeding stop. What the hell? <laughs> I didn't know that was possible. Maybe I did. You should bleed too much though. Oof, you bastard, that hurts. Okay, that one hurts. Oh, I had that miss. That was a hit. No, 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 can't be. <laughs> can't you, man? Oh, bonk. Okay. Oh, big bleed. This one's not going away on its own. Okay, I'll point the mace. This is good. Yeah, I could just sit back and do Master Strokes, by the way. I could just um, absolutely win this, but I don't want to do that. 
the master. I'm blocking everything he's got and he's blocking everything I've got. Except for those. Oh, this is trouble. Okay, I might lose this one, but that's okay. Sometimes, if you have low skill, you're just gonna lose. Period. Oh, he was bleeding too. Oh no, I bled out. I bled out. Okay, so it's the axe or the sword. But yeah, when you're fighting someone with a shield, you kind of have to have combinations. I don't have any mace combinations, which is fine. Ah, oh, short sword. Okay, fine. Time to stabby stab to the face. So yeah, the animations went slow down like they were with that, with that long sword. No face plate means you're dead. Ouch. <laughs> you squeal. He squealed, and then I got smashed. Alright, fine, you wanna screw around? Alright, final fight. Um, I think this is Peter. Yeah, so the first tournament you engage in, it's always Black Peter. So the problem is that Black Peter is actually quite tough. People who actually play the tournament as soon as it's available will run into trouble, guaranteed. Long sword! Semi stab! Okay, yeah, or slashy slash. Oh, look at that! Oh shit, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Okay, fine. Let's not piss around. <laughs> oh, really? Master stroke on that. Okay, fine. Okay, quit doing master strokes, you bastard. Okay, I mean it's quit doing the master strokes or yeah, yeah. you can't uh, the tournament also reduces the chance of winning grapples so yeah Okay, I want to win this one so Oh you bastard, okay Really? Come on. Okay, fine. Can you slow me my my animation? Oh shit, this is Yeah, that was that was bad. The first victor in our tourney is Black Peter. He must have got me in the face. Alright, uh, the axe, okay. So I will, uh, I will kind of cheese this one, just to make sure that I do win. Ah, nice dodge! So yeah, spacing does matter. Okay. Yeah, but just don't get yourself... Don't get yourself out of stamina. Yeah, don't yeah me. You wanna do this? Really? Oh, come on, game. Let me block. Alright, I'm gonna cheese this. I have to win. No, I lost my animations. <laughs> No, not weak. Ah, 
Uh, he's done. He's done for here. Really? Okay, fine. How do you do, fellow kids? Uh, thank you for following there, Baz, uh, Bakas Bakov. <laughs> He's done for. He's done for. Yep. The third and decisive duel was won by Henry of Scalitz. Lords and ladies, good men and good wives, you have just witnessed the final duel in today's Ratai Tournay, for which we all owe gratitude to Sir Hanush of Lipa. All glory to the victor, Henry of Scalitz, man at arms in the company of Sir Ramsey Kobila. His prize will be given to him. By our gracious Sahanash. Yeah, who's probably still in that room in um so I do have to do the main quest debrief at least. Yeah, I'm gonna put this off. I'm gonna pretend that we haven't got this debrief here. My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislovitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lords, greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pravislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off, and they even took one captive. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. What? I don't give a fuck what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. That's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um. This here is just a pile of copper. Kurva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some. <laughs> worth. Hmm. <sighs> Kurva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groshes seem freshly minted, so... So we are Fuck. facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppredel. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhoyed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you, all of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. So yeah, unfortunately, because of this cutscene, you can't actually do things at the tournament properly. So this is a timing issue with the game. So this main quest I think should have been put off for say at least a week or so. That should give you some time to actually do things other than other than just the main quest. Okay, um Greetings, Henry. I hear you on the Rat Eye Tourney. Well done, lad. 
Oh, uh, what is this? May I be of service, my lord? Yes, Henry. Oh, shit. Chief Engineer Faifar has been asking for someone reliable to assist him. The Chief Engineer? Is it about Scalets? In a manner of speaking. Master Faifar has, well, evil forebodings. I think he may want to send you to the Scalets mines. Can they really be restored? Everything can be rebuilt with enough will and resources. Well, everything except a man. You'll get the details from Chief Engineer Faifar. For the time being, consider yourself his handyman. Certainly. Where do I find him? Is he here in the castle? Where? Now that's a good question. He ought to be somewhere at Perkstein unless he's gone off to deal with some problem or other. Look around. You're bound to run into him. Well, thank you. I'll go and see him straight away. Good luck, Hal. Goodbye. God bless you. What trouble? Henry, have you questioned that prisoner in Merho yet yet? Not yet. Then get on with it. What are you waiting for, boy? God be with you. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna start the DLC right away. Where is... what's his name? Oh, here we go. Okay, so if you're unlucky... oh, look at that. Put on a hell of a show, Henry. Here's your hard-earned reward. Thank you, Sir Hannes. God be with you. So yeah, the first few tourneys have that unique and unique item. So you have to you have to make sure you pick up the prize, otherwise you're not gonna get it. Alright, unfortunately, I'm not I'm not sure if he, if the prisoner can actually die if you wait too long. I've never tested it, but um I don't think he can, but it's a bit risky, isn't it? Sir, I won the tourney. Ha! <laughs> I know! You beat them all black and blue! You're a true warrior, Henry. Really? Even I was amazed at your performance. And thank you, you saved me from Uncle's legendary wrath. Here, I have something for you. I had it made just for you. It's no more than a hero like you deserves. It's very kind of you, sir. Thanks. <laughs> and also, I'm feeling hungry. Lol. Speaking of which, yes, uh, yes, I should probably get some food. Yes, I'm literally going to, about to go hungry. So which means... Bring on the cabbages. Okay, so tonight we're gonna go back to the mill and um, we're going to have a super secret encounter, which of course nobody's expecting. And then the day after that, we'll head off to Morkhoyed and stop by Samopesh because that's a tournament one. We can kind of uh, you know, speak to them. And then we'll kind of go to the monastery to get some healing for Morkhoyed. I think I'll get Dreadful at this stage, and then I'll get Stronghold. Because Dreadful is useful everywhere, right? Alright, let's let's stop by and speak to uh, Master Hagen. Um, he'll have a few comments to make about his new cook. So, are you happy with your new cook, Merchant Hagen? Happy? It's a fucking nightmare! <laughs> well, what's the matter? Amazing. My toes are according to my best knowledge and conscience. She certainly knows how to cook. Her food is excellent. But her stories... Stories? More like sermons, actually. All about the evils of Mammon, how Jesus threw the merchants out of the temple and whatnot. And it's all Father Francis this, Father Francis that. No doubt, Father Francis was a saint with infinite patience. Well, the main thing is she knows how to cook, isn't it? True. Her trout, braised in wine with spices, honestly fit for a king, I must admit. And she can manage all the housework. Perhaps in time she'll lose interest in preaching. I hope. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. So, this one's fun. Seems things worked out well enough, didn't they? Well, I asked for a cook and you sent me one, but. Exactly. I did what you asked. So, about my reward. Do you really think you deserve one? Of course. Of course I do. All right then. Here you are. Farewell. Five Groschen. Ah. <laughs> but yes. Yeah, you can't please this guy. Yeah, that's right. There is no pleasing him. <laughs> well, he is a merchant. Did you expect any better? Okay, so we're gonna have a bit of fun with Black Peter. Spoilers. I think that might be it. Uh, there is Tondo as well. Tondo is somewhere around here as well. Bludgeon. Uh, oh, I might have to kill him. Wait, if the dog kills him, 
Does that count? Does it count if a dog kills him? Okay, so let's see. How many have, how many people have I killed? Stats what? Six. All right. So test. Does Black Peter die if you if you get the dog to kill him? Oh, I don't have sick. Oh, I don't have sick. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. So I, I'm gonna have to kill him. I'm sorry to say. Oh, I can pull him towards the guards. I can pull him towards the guards. Oh, my winnings from the wager. I've come for my winnings. All right. Here's your winnings. Damn it. There'll be another tourney in a week or so. So that's like a thousand groschen we just got there. If you go around here, there should be a rope. Oh, is he not, not around here? Is he not around here today? That's weird. Usually he's basically here immediately. Which is good because it's nice to actually come here and get the quest at Summerfish. We still have a few hours of daylight. Yeah, let's go to Summerfish. Well, look at that. Very, very important. Noble doesn't uh, doesn't actually ride a horse. Uh, wrong way. Go back. Yeah. Double cross the dog. The dog's running off into the in the opposite direction now. Okay, so I think we have enough daylight to go over here. Um, we'll stop by Murkhoyed, pick up the quest and not hit that guy. And then we'll go hit Samofesh and then we'll end up at the monastery in Sasa. Oh, okay, so there is... There is a bit of warning guy. What the hell is going on? Why are you standing around yelling in the middle of the road? For Christ's sake, lad! Don't you hold your life dear! There's a plague in Merhoyed. Go while you still can. Sir Radzig Kobolo sent me. I can help you. You've a good heart, boy, but take my advice. Nothing good awaits you here. Good luck to you. <laughs> See you later. So yeah, on second thought, it is going to take us a little while to get all these things done in Merhoyed. So he may have gone to sleep already. Oh, shit. They've gone to sleep. That guy, yeah, so that guy's standing there. Uh -huh. Hopefully he'll come out. Well, Shut up, dog. You are as a God dog. <laughs> He's telling off the dog for doing his job properly. Alright, uh, let me see if I can break in without actually getting caught. Aha, we just bypassed the guard dog there. Screw you, guard dog. Oh shit! No! Ho ho ho! Ho 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 ho! Alright, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Stop! Surrender! <laughs> Someone reported you were picking locks. This definitely won't come cheap. You'll learn crime doesn't pay. Ah, uh, bloody hell game. Um, have you sent for a secret task? No, you're making a, a fail. mistake. <laughs> if only you knew what you've just got yourself into. This won't end well for you. Do you think I'm so stupid as to fall for such a fairy tale? Not a chance. Ah, alright, fine. Oh well, what can I do? Here you are. Alright, just make sure it doesn't happen again. And spread your arms and legs. Let's hey, 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 don't search me. She had to open the freaking door. Bloody hell. Ah, I should have just come back the next day. Oops. There were too many people about then. Yeah, unfortunately that lady wasn't asleep. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.